Hey guys, it's your boy we back with more Marvel Vet content and today we are taking a look at tier 4 mystique on the speed villain ABX day and I could not get a chance to really get you know a feel of level 70 and 80 on the same account I'm still trying to get the potential on my main account this is my buddy Spellboros account so really thanks to him for letting me use his account for this video uh, we will be changing the striker and a bit more stuff so she uh, he basically has sin with the 5 star artifact which gives us 12% extra damage to villain types also black cat also has the 5 star artifact and we also have a mighty insight on this girl if you have both of the paywall uniform this is the best team up let me just show you the cards and how the swords look like they look pretty good now moving on to mystique there are some changes that i made ever since the last video uh first of all we'll talk about the build he's she's basically rank 23 at the moment yes it will kind of change when more people build her she's very good it's just the second day again everything is maxed out she has uh, 20 odin's blessings maxed out build uh, skill cooldown all skills level 6 we will be changing the striker to ghost rider he's the best you could try a uh, black widow if you have brilliant energy but i don't think it's gonna be a big difference anyways type <coughs> rank 5 uh, overdrive stage 12 we have no artifact right now i will be doing two runs in this video and we have a mighty rage with 180 and rage about the artifact i will be showing you guys two runs in this video the first run i'm gonna show you is gonna be without the artifact second run i'm gonna show you will be the exact same uh raven or mystique with a five star artifact just to see the difference how much the artifact actually boost her scores also there are some changes that i made to the rotation uh thanks to mushy and all the other guys i think rom also commented on the last video to try the fourth skill first and actually turned out to be working very good let me just uh, tell you the rotation then we can move on to the run so first up uh, first skill is still again uh, it's still a fodder skill but i like to use it a lot more you can use it after two cancel one because we will be spamming the second skill a lot also you can use it after five uh, explosion in the end so we will be taking advantage of that okay so what we'll do now is start with the uh fourth skill that's what we will be doing except there is no changes in the rotation so basically we go four into three cancel two cancel five or if you want you can go four two three five into the sixth skill one two three four slashes cancel back into uh four two tier four three five okay that's basically how it goes now you can change the timing of your three and second skill uh, when you want to use it if the if there are about five or four percent remaining only on the tier 4 timer i always always use the second skill just to save a few percentage uh, if you have more you can obviously use other skills uh, depending on what your tier 4 charge timer is at that will uh, i think you will get through practice and there is not really a proper way to explain when exactly you use which skill it's not just like cable because cable is different <coughs> so anyways let me just uh, show you the runs both of them and uh, see how much of a difference we can actually make also tier 4 mystique for the first time I'm using so let's see now this is my old phone so i'm recording on low graphics that's why the quality will be lower so we start off with 4, delay cancel, 3 to 5 into the 6 skill. Uh, and then we start 4, 2 as you saw. The timer was only 4% off. So I used it just to charge up the tier 4 skill. That saves me. I think it's better to do it that way. Because I feel maybe you might be able to get one extra tier 4 skill in. Probably. You can try it with the strict rotation. But I think it works pretty fine the way I'm using it. And you will see I'm spamming absolutely. Uh, the whole thing is a spam fest. Absolutely. I'm not doing the 3, 4, 2, 5 or, uh, you know, the 4, 2, 3, 5 sort of static rotation. And my goal here, as you can see, is to finish every rower like this. Okay. So I need to finish every rower with the 5 cancel 1 combo in the end. Basically getting all the delays. The delay you'll have to control using your second skill because that's the skill that you actually have paralyze on uh, there might be <coughs> more skill which actually have paralyze on there but i found that because the paralyze is very early right on the first hit of the fourth skill 
uh, I think that is going to be your main skill to help you out with the delays. You will see right here, uh, I'll be able to use a slight delay, actually not that much delay. So we start here, we paralyze, he's going to do one more attack and we finish it with the same combo. It could have been better again, like uh, there's no nothing as uh, a perfect run. But as soon as or as long as you play her, you will understand uh, the exact feel of playing her and the skill timings and everything you will totally understand. I'm just spamming right now just to charge up as many tier 4s as possible and it should still work out pretty fine. As you can see, I'm cancelling the 4th, 5th uh, skill right at the end into the 1 and 2 and you can see I used it again with the 2nd skill with the tier 4 charge up. That's why I'm trying to finish it. Now, we, this is probably going to be second and third row are the hardest delays. So, right here we go into and he does one more attack with the double jump. That's a good thing. Now, double jump is not uh, considerably, I would say, it's not exactly the best way you want to play her. Because if he does only one attack after that, <coughs> I feel that's a bit better. Because you don't have to waste time using extra second skill. That's what I feel. And probably you might have slight extra time, maybe one or two extra seconds in the end to use. Now, I could have tried to, you know, save the fourth skill here, but I don't actually feel any big difference doing so. But anyways, without the artifact, tier four Mystique uh, is able to get almost 16.1 million. Well, 16 million, maybe we can hit 16.1 as is now. Switching to a five star artifact run. So exactly everything will be played out. Uh, we start off with the 4, 3, 2, 5. You can also try 4, 2, 3, 5. But it's not exactly a big difference in the start. Because you go into Awakened skill anyways. And you always have the second skill up already after it's done. So I don't think there's going to be any changes in the timing. Although <coughs> maybe I could try going for a strict rotation. And try to get most of my tier 4 times uh, with the second skill only that could might work out might not work out i'm not exactly sure if that will uh there's one more thing uh that i did not uh, i forgot to show forgot to tell right after first row like this one i always use the transcend skill after the fifth one you will see on the other runs when the transcend skill is actually available you will see me using the transcend skill in a priority over the fifth skill because just to get the transcend skill right before the rower times on the second and as well as the third rower and that's again as i said timing as you can see right here i'm not waiting for the fifth skill I'm gonna go for the sixth skill because the sixth skill has a 30 second timer and you have to line that up with the rower timings and if you do that you can basically get yourself some extra score you can try different stuff out she's very new still so I wouldn't say like this is the exactly how you should be playing. This is what I got my best result. Like this is one. This is I would say is the best timing for the rower. No extra delays, nothing. Right here, the tier uh, transcend skill will be slightly delayed, which kind of makes the third rower delay a bit harder. Okay, to get. Uh, but sadly, you cannot do anything about that. It's all the rower timings and everything. You cannot always have everything under control in alliance battle and that's how it actually goes although still we are keeping up with uh, that non-artifact run although i don't think that artifact is gonna be a huge increase it's a uh, ignore dodge and all attack artifact which is the same as imbaku artifact uh, except the fact that it is actually for self you can see there's only two seconds remaining we use it he goes for one extra attack and we are able to get the delay this time as well. I'm going to spam the second skill. Doesn't exactly matter. Maybe you can save some mobs, you know, to start off uh, with the fourth skill ahead of the uh, beast coming out of iframe. Maybe you could try that, but I don't see actually many difference anyways. So second skill, I think I did I go. I think I went with the transcend skill. Yeah, I did went with the transcend skill. I feel this is how you should do it. If you do find that using 5 cancel transcend is better, you guys can tell me. Uh, although, as you can see, we have gone past the score and we are able to make 16.34 million. Now, I'm not sure how many of you guys actually noticed. I used, <coughs> there was one fourth skill that I cancelled early. Okay, 
I think that could have added maybe about a uh, hundred k or maybe one fifty k extra score to the run. So I would say a no artifact to a five star artifact mystique should be able to give you about a five hundred k increase or so in the score. It should be about five hundred k. So I think with this mystique, I should be able to get about sixteen point five million or something, maybe sixteen point six on a really good run, uh, with a five star artifact as is. So yeah, she's very strong. She's a big, humongous increase over uh, Red Goblin. She has the exact same artifact, just like this guy, except this is actually just for self and Mbaku is support. And I do feel that I can improve the score. Absolutely, there are always uh, holes that you can always fill. But let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what you think about Mystique. Seems about two point five to two point six million uh, increase over Green Goblin. Do let me know what you think about that. And as always, if you do enjoy the content, I hope to see you again. Take care. I'll see you all in the next one.